Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks three years of India's unilateral, reprehensible, and illegal action taken on August 5th, 2019, in a bid to change the internationally recognized disputed status and to alter the demographic structure of Indian legally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. It is evident from the disturbing developments in the last three years that under the alarming wave of saffronized nation that is engulfing India, it has left no stone unturned to pursue its nefarious design of furthering demographic changes in occupied Kashmir. In doing so, through repressive measures, including outrageous gerrymandering to create Hindu-dominated constituencies at the expense of Muslim majorities, the issuance of millions of fake domicile certificates to non-Kashmiris, and modifying laws on ownership of land and property. These me measures constitute nothing but an Indian attempt to obliterate the distinct Kashmiri identity in violation of the United Nations Security Council resolution and international law, including the Fourth Geneva Convention. Ladies and gentlemen, the ominous presence of 900,000 Indian troops has turned occupied Kashmir into the most militarized region in the world. The human suffering of Kashmiris inflicted through extrajudicial killings, arbitrary detentions, incarceration of the true Kashmiri leadership, and harassment and other gross violations of human rights are well documented and have been condemned worldwide. It is the privacy of justice that more than 650 Kashmiris have been martyred since the 5th of August 2019, including 130 in the year 2022 alone. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan has always desired peaceful relations with its neighbors, including India. Unfortunately, India's actions and its subsequent mechanizations have vitiated the peace and security environment in South Asia. The onus remains on India to create a conducive environment the result orientated engagement. Over the past seven decades, three generations of Kashmiris have awaited for the world community and the United Nations to honor their solemn commitment. It is time the United Nations must live up to its promise of granting the right of self-determination to the Kashmiri people. The international community must demand an end to India's gross and widespread human